eastern half of the country, and it's going to be just gradually drifting northward and weakening as it comes our way, and that is what's going to increase our shower chances and even some thunderstorm chances the next couple of days. Right now, let's do four zone weather. 67 in Detroit, same thing in Troy, 69 in Taylor, 68 right now in Livonia, 19 Celsius, that's... Uh, 67 Fahrenheit over in Harrow, Ontario and Windsor, Ontario. 67 Monroe, Carlton, Dundee, Saline, 68 in Deerfield in our south zone. In our west zone, we have 65 in Whitmore Lake, 64 over in Milford, 65 in Howell. And good afternoon, Sandusky, 67 degrees. You've had lots of sunshine today. You've had a great day up there for the second day in a row. But farther south in the clouds, 64 in Emmett, 64 Romeo, 64 Oxford, Ortonville and over in Pontiac. And here you see all the cloud cover and you can see that nice Nice little break of sun that we've had here in the parts of the thumb. So down to the south, as I mentioned, we have that upper level low with moisture starting to come northward. I don't think we see a whole lot tonight. There could be an isolated sprinkle or shower, but more dry than anything tonight with just lots of clouds. Now Thursday, we may get a break or two of some, but I think it's more clouds than anything else. A scattered shower is possible at any point during the day, even a thunderstorm during the nighttime hours into Friday morning. You see this is scattered stuff, and then that continues through the day on Friday. And notice, there are spaces in between these, so it's not going to rain all day the next couple of days. There will be parts of the day that it's not raining, but there still could be a storm around for Friday evening football. Just keep an eye on our app's real-time radar. You'll see where those breaks are, and then you'll be able to plan accordingly. So 62, the overnight low tonight, and then tomorrow getting up into the mid-70s with more clouds than anything else and those scattered showers around, maybe a thunderstorm. Uh, looks like mid-70s continue into Friday. We already talked about the weekend, and then into early next week, we stay mild all the way into the middle part of next week, but I do see some fall cooling coming end of next week into next weekend, Sandra. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Paul.